Hello, my friend. Welcome to the Great Switcheroo. So I'm in my Zen-like state. I've mixed paints together to make special colors. I'm going to explain it all to you soon. Let's go into the mind of Sarah Taylor and make some beautiful, magical, mystical <laughs> type of painting. Here we go. So for the Great Switcheroo Part 3, I was chosen to take on Sarah Taylor's Cloud Over Pearl technique. Uh, I chose to use Tri-Art paints, one of my favorite paints. They are creamy, dreamy, and some really unusual colors that you don't see on the market a lot. I, uh, along with those and some golden paints and some Liquitex paints. I created, I think it was five or six special colors. And then I also made two separate colors for the cloud over technique, which I'll explain in a minute. Um, this recipe has satin enamels in it. I will put a full description of what I did down in the description below. Let me show you the colors that I will be using today. Again, they are a combination of multiple colors, except for actually this first one. This is the Blue Black Indigo uh, by Altier. I believe you pronounce it, probably not, but I'll say it like that. It's a gorgeous color. So I had that one, and then I also used then I have a deep green, which is hooker's green. And yes, there's a hooker's green. <laughs> and uh, it's just a really nice deep green. Then I have a plum color I made using deep violet and a little bit of Payne's gray. And then the next color you're going to see is called quiller violet. This is by Triart. It is such a deep violet color. I have a bright white light on it, but it's a lot deeper than what it looks. This is English Brown by Modern Masters. Now, all of these colors do not have satin enamels in them. This jar here and the jar you see sitting on the canvas both have satin enamels. Those are my cloud over colors. So the, the technique is you take your white paint that has satin enamels in it, you pour your colors onto it that don't have satin enamels in it, you stretch it out, you get those pearl cells, and then you take those little jars that I just showed you and swipe them over the color that you want to swipe them over to create some puffy looking cloud images in your painting. Now, because the paints are so thin, you do need to prep your canvas, just a light coat of regular acrylic paint. You're not gonna let this dry. You're gonna pour right on top of it. That is going to help after you're done stretching. It's going to help with two things. It's gonna help keep the design on the top of the canvas and stop it from going over the edge. It's also going to help not see your canvas through your dry painting because these paints are very thin you do run a risk of seeing canvas through them from this point forward i'm going to zip my lip and let you enjoy just know that i along with sarah taylor obviously have great tutorials on this technique if you really want to learn how to do it but before I zip my lips, I would like to thank all of you for joining us. I would like to thank the ladies for participating. And I, I just am very honored 
to do this. So thank you. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I do a lot of tutorials on a lot of different techniques and I love to teach. That's about it. I hope you guys all have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.
there you have it. You know, I kind of wanted to go with the flow. I didn't want to go off track. So that's exactly what I did. And this is reminding me of a very big root system. So I will have to name this aptly. And that's reminding me of a cobblestone road. So, <laughs> and a corn of cob, corn of cob, cob corn. <laughs> uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this portion of the video <laughs> of uh, this uh, collaboration or whatever we're doing here. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm cracking up for no reason. <laughs> Anyway, um, go over to Miss AB Creative now. I can only imagine what kind of wacky idea she did. <laughs> I love you all. Thank you for joining me. And let me put on the flash here. Not, maybe not. Hold on. I swear, this isn't my first video. <laughs> So again, thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining us. Make sure you hop over to AB Creative's channel now and give her a thumbs up on the way in. And if you haven't seen Canela Soraku art yet, you missed her. So hop over her video also when this is all over. You can rewatch all of the videos on replay once the switcheroo ends. Have a great night, my friends, and happy pouring.